Okay, so this is the data science with our workflow cheat sheet. Um, I want to point you to this before we get started on importing, uh, especially before we get into the Reader package. Uh, there's a great resource if you click the cheat sheet here. I'm going to click that. It's going to download. You can see it's downloading down here. It's called data import.pdf. And I'm going to open that. And this is the cheat sheet that, that comes up. So uh, the reason I want to point to this is we're going to be utilizing a few of the different functions in here. Um, we're not going to be able to touch on every single one of these, but I want to show you how this cheat sheet is set up so you can understand kind of what's going on when we import data and what all is contained in this cheat sheet because there's a lot of valuable information. So first things first, um, there's two different sheets. Um, it's kind of combines a couple of different topics. So we've got data import. The first page is all about um, saving data, um, reading data. Uh, you can see reading down here. You can see writing up here. Um, you can see how tabular data, there's a couple of different functions here. We'll be touching on read CSV. Um, and we'll also be touching on read underscore RDS. So um, there's also a, a column here on data types. So data types are the different types of data. Um, we aren't going to get into this too much, but just recognize that this is available and what Radar does is it tries to make educated guesses on the different data types when it reads them in. Um, and it uses these different functions like call integer or call factor um, and so on. So, and we can actually specify those. Uh, the next page here is about uh, tibbles and the data type. So you can see over here, um, it's got a little bit of information on what a tibble is, what the tibble package is, um, how you can subset um, and work with tibbles. Uh, and it also actually gets into the tidier package. So you can see there's tidier over here and some of the main functions. We'll get into this a little bit when we start wrangling data. Um, you've already maybe seen some of these functions like separate previously. Um, so we'll be touching on gather, spread, separate, um, but that'll actually be in the uh, wrangling section because this actually helps us uh, to manipulate the data. So for now, um, we're going to be focusing primarily on the first cheat sheet page and um, we'll be mainly focusing on reading in data here.